The Trenton Steel wind 2011 down on a sad note. One of Hoval Zones scores her 1,000th point, and elsewhere on the hardwood, tournaments go on. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports. They attracted upwards of four and 5,000 fans a game most nights, but sadly, fans will not be able to see indoor football in the new year at Sun National Bank Center. The Trenton Steel have officially called it quits. Just a year into their time as an SIFL franchise, team officials blame expensive travel costs and a gaping lack of corporate sponsors for having to close up shop. It is the second time in 2011 a Trenton team has suspended operations. The T-Devils announced last summer that they were folding, but of course ECHL executives scrambled over the next few weeks and successfully revived the Titans franchise. As far as another football team coming to the arena in the near future, experts say it is not likely. In the coming days, we expect to talk with Steel officials about the team's dissolution. On a happier note, another local high school basketball star notches her 1,000th point. Senior point guard Kelly Williams of the Hopewell Valley High Lady Bulldogs reached that milestone last night in, of all games, the Molinelli Tournament Championship. It was a third-quarter buzzer-beating three-point shot. It put Hoval up by 10 over Moorestown. They eventually won 55-50 to take the Molinelli Tournament crown for the ladies. Williams, the 5-2 guard, says she did not even know how many points she needed to reach 1,000 until the moment it happened. She admits that the number one thought on her mind was winning the game. Elsewhere in basketball, from Princeton Day to TCA, we've got girls and boys action from basketball into tonight's highlights. The Princeton Day Panthers and Allentown Redbirds both trying to earn a trip to the PDS Holiday Invitational Final to take on Pinelands, who earlier in the day knocked off Nottingham High. PDS's Emily Goldman with the ball gets robbed by Allentown's Dana Sensi. She floats it up court to Mandy Horniak. Horniak goes on a breakaway, puts it up, and nets two, making her Monmouth County crew happy. Panthers respond. Molly Rubin dishes it to Hannah Levy. Levy, nothing but net. The hometown fans love her for that. Carly Corvassi of Allentown gets the ball knocked away, but watch her and teammates maintain possession. Sensi keeps it despite PDS's good defense. Leah Ogrodna caps all this off with a three. Outstanding turn of events by Red. Coach Linda Weiss proud of it. The Panthers back on O. Ruben to Lauren Johnson who heads toward the lane. She goes to Levy who's in the paint and Levy with another deuce. PDS trailed by four after three quarters but they were without senior guard Janie Smuckler. Yet it was players like Tess Zahn, Johnson and Ruben again here who kept it a close game. However, the Redbirds in the fourth quarter broke the game open. Out scoring PDS by nine. They win by the final of 51-38. It'll be them and Pinelands to decide the championship. Down at TCA. Welcome to the primetime message. TCA, Iron Mike. The energy buzzing for Charles Cook and the rest of the hometown Iron Mikes in this primetime Escott tournament. Playing host to Linden High, the Mikes got started fast and never looked back. Chaz Patterson to Cook. Cook for three. On the money, this set the tone for an unforgettable first quarter. Kadri Moore tries from downtown. No good. Raekwon Walker tries a two. The ball eventually comes down for Nazier Chu of TCA, who hustles off court with it. Flanked by Cook, he passes it to him. One good three-point attempt deserves another. Cook on fire in the early going. Shakir Phelps of Linden. Offensive foul. The TCA Lady Mikes on their feet. Audible about the matter. Mikes get it back. Cook to Malachi Richardson, the freshman. He finds Brandon Taylor, and Mr. Penn State notches the first of his many field goals on the night. Moore tries another three. Again, a miss. He gets his own board, but watch Patterson just take it out of Moore's hands. That's one version of steal, takeaway, what have you. Taylor gets it. Another three, a trio of them. In fact, in the first few minutes, the fans getting more energized. Even when Linden found an open lane, Taylor rejects Moore. TCA's higher-ups do the travel-slash-false start signal, depending on the sport. Chu to Cook. Slam dunk! A 15-0 run to open this game for TCA. Now, Linden eventually resuscitated their game. More to Michael Campo to Jawan Jones for three. He stops the bleeding, getting his team on the board. In the second quarter and beyond, Linden would eventually play solid offense, but the slow start dooms them. They lose by 12. TCA's boys look like they've arrived under new skipper Mel Weldon. Just a reminder, these highlights from the primetime Escott, brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success.
And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior Nami Business Systems. Whether it's building servers, designing your website, or creating custom systems, you can count on Prior Nami. The boys' side of Hopewell's Molinelli tournament was also won by a Mercer squad. The Lawrence High Cardinals beat Pennington 56 to 48 to take home the crown. The cards were led by Bobby Brackett's 21 points. He was also named tournament MVP, as was Hoval's Williams on the ladies' side. The Lawrence High boys' basketball squad is our prior NAMI team of the day. That's all for sports on this Thursday. Stay tuned now for Mercer County Close-Up.